Hey guys, so um, this is where we're at at the moment. Cybertruck framework. Um, these bits are just sitting there, and they're actually the template template pieces off the template version over there, which is looking pretty sorry. But yeah, um, I'm working on cutting some steel for all the framework that goes around the front end. Cut a few pieces for the back already. Um, but yeah, this is where we're at with the framework at the moment. These legs at the front um, are just there temporarily. These ones here. And these ones here at the back get cut short just under the bumper which is just below that bar so the bumper goes across the bottom there and then the legs are cut off below that or at that height but uh, they're there to um, give us the correct height well, it's actually a tiny bit higher than it should be but it's close I wanted to allow for um, larger tyres. But yeah, so it's very windy at the moment. That's why the, the bonnet just flew off. It's not stuck on. Okay, so tailgate. Um, it opens up. Of three sections that pull out from the tailgate, or one then another one making three sections. I've done it in two and it folds out rather than slides out. I thought that would be easier to do. Um, so that becomes a, um, I think it's 880 millimeter ramp, um, 88 centimeters. Um, it does go to the ground. I'd have to it's a bit hard with one hand. Okay, let me try. So there you go. Let's sit on the ground. It up and it can even sit on top like that which means that this section here is opened up if I want to have that closed because that'll be filled in as a panel um, let's pop that back away. So, been working on these. The tightest angles you can imagine. They're necessary to, um, so this is the rear ute area. Um, the vault, as Tesla calls it. And um, so with the with the vault we have um, little storage pieces that go in in the side here. They open up like that, and I'm including them. Um, there's underfloor storage. May not be all that useful with all the running gear and batteries and such, but yeah. It'll probably be used up with all that. Um, so yeah, the um, the rear has a, um, a roller shutter style cover that slides up and goes down 
behind the seat, um, which would be the back seats in the actual Cybertruck, but I only have one seat. <laughs> so my head goes just there, and that's the seat is on an angle. My rear end goes here somewhere, knees up here somewhere, feet up there. I've just made my legs too long. <laughs> anyway, you get the idea. Knees probably here further, rear end here further, and a bigger angle to my head. So, um, yeah, just a quick update to keep you all in the loop. Um, slow and steady at the moment. But yeah, I'm just trying to get a bit, a bit done every day. Um, having a couple of days off because I'm babysitting a friend's dog at the moment. But um, yeah, not really much else I can show you. Um, oh yeah, the the bonnet. Um, so. There's the bonnet, that's not how it sits, but it, it opens up, you know, traditionally like that. Now on the actual cyber truck, these three pieces here and the lights are attached to that, so when that opens up, a whole lot opens up together. Um, I thought the prototype only showed this bit opening and that's how I designed it and I'm sticking with that even though it looks like they call this the frunk so I've got the bolt in the back and then there it goes again because of this wind and the frunk is in the back in the front sorry so it's a front trunk I won't really have any storage much in the way of storage there because we've got suspension steering and all that going on and probably also some batteries because um, we're using electric assist and a 12 volt lighting system so um yeah so it, i've decided to have these three pieces and the headlights so the light bar and the two headlights, I've decided to have them all as one piece attached to the chassis. Um, the bumper bar goes under that. And uh, I'm going to make all of that really solid because my feet go just here where I'm pedalling. Um, so, yeah, for protection for my feet, it makes more sense to have all this solid frame then have a bit that lifts up and then it's only attached with a piano hinge at the back here um, yeah that might the, the piano hinge would probably break in an accident um, exposing my feet the whole front end to come off yeah a bit dangerous so because this thing is reasonably low to the ground already anyway um, I wanted to make sure that it was a bit safer for my feet so I'm going to stick with the original thoughts, which I thought it had this piece attached to the chassis and then just the lid opening up. So I'm going to stick with that, even though that's not the actual design of the Cybertruck. It doesn't change the outside appearance whatsoever, but it just makes things a bit safer, I believe, and a bit stronger. So, yeah, just a little bit about that. Um, yeah, long way to go, <laughs> but just an update for now. Cheers, guys. Please um, comment below um, if you've watched this to the end. Um, share this with people that you might think could be interested in something like this. This is a Velomobile. Cybertruck
and um, yeah so this is the, the final framework we're on our way with the build um, like comment subscribe guys cheers see you next video bye